What is going on, everyone? Welcome to American Truck Simulator. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today, we're going to be diving into the next chapter here of the Owner Operator Series. Something I was not fully expecting to do, probably until maybe that series was completed, to be completely honest with you. But due to unforeseen circumstances, which, of course, you know, seems to be coming some of the norm with me always breaking stuff, there has been... A little bit of a downer but a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel so what is next for the American truck simulator owner operator profile well guys this one is gonna be a very very unique one indeed we are going to be starting off brand new again with the owner operator oh, owner operator the owner operator profile and we're gonna be doing things a little different this time now we're going to do the owner operator profile the way that it was originally basically scripted right however with my experience in being one in real life and being around trucks my entire life we are going to take the owner operator series to the extreme next level our friends over there at gdc logistics who have the realistic economy mod have released a beta version all the links will be down in the description below, of course, of his Discord and all the information to the mod. It is in beta. However, though, it is uh, going to hopefully in the near future or future in general be more of the public release. However, this is going to be where the game is going to evolve, right? We are going to be doing things for real this time. I'm talking real RP owner operator style no shortcuts nothing of the nature we are going to ride this all the way whether it takes me three weeks three months three years i hope you guys are going to hang around for the ride and watch us build modded transport to become one of the biggest trucking companies here in american truck simulator All right, guys, so if you guys are new here, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back again. Mike here, also known as Modded ATS. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content here that we put out on the channel. Uh, we are on the big road to 15,000 subscribers here. Join up here with the Hammerhead community. Would love to have you a part of it. Also, if you guys do like the series, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, give it a thumbs up, too, if you guys are trying out the Realistic Economy profile as well. Now... Today, we're going to go over a few things. As we go on our ride here, we'll go over why we had to go over everything new. But uh, I want to give a little touch base here on what's really different. Now, we were doing the Realistic Economy profile from the Workshop mod. The public release it was fantastic. We bought our Peterbilt 350. We had our W900A uh, replicated after my grandfather's truck. We had bought a W900L getting some drivers. It's really, really fun. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, which we'll talk about, we ended up losing the profile completely, in which turns allowed me to start new. Now, there was some kind of, not a um, controversy, but questions arising, because we had started the profile before the used truck dealer, and that's a great asset to the game, especially when you want to play in a realistic fashion. So I was kind of always like in the back of my mind, like, man, it would be kind of cool to try that out like that well after last night's discovery i decided to do a little digging around and i actually happened to notice a few things there in the discord of the gdc logistics which is the mod that we use and again guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to have all the information down below in the description so any of the mods you're curious about i will have them down there and we'll let you know as time goes on what we add and all the fun stuff but today we are trying out the beta version of the GDC economy mod. This mod is insane. We have just gone from veteran mode to extreme mode. We are now, now it's now it's game time, Hammers. 
I'm ready for the real deal. I want to I'm going to put this to the test. We are going to finally officially do the exact owner operator series that should be done that I wanted to do RP style. Every checks on it, what it would be like to be an owner operator and basically go through some experiences that I had personally as an owner operator to go through some of the things here with the mod. I will list some of it here on the screen for you. There are some changes. So what he has done is levels one through nine is considered the training phase. So we're going to use this time to earn our skill points. Roughly every 500 miles of driving, you're going to get a skill point, which means you're going to get a level. So you could do the math there. Uh, all the skills apart from the distance will earn you the extra XP. However, you should still perform distance to unlock to be able to drive longer trips. So you see how they kind of go hand in hand. You still have to do the unlock for the long distance. Might not give you the extra XP, but it's going to give you the mileage in order to get you to the XP for the other uh, skill sets. Now, here's the crazy part. Once your training phase is completed, it will roughly take 80 to 100,000 miles of driving in combination with the latest skills to unlock level 10. I am obsessed with that right now because it's taken me nine months to get 100,000 miles on Limestone. This is really going to be the new face of the channel, both here on YouTube and on Twitch. We are going to be playing the heck out of this. This phase, when you hit level 10, it's going to simulate the first year of our over-the-road experience, and we're definitely going to have to grind. Then, when we get to level 15... Hypothetically, we're going to have about a year and a quarter, so 1.2 years, almost a year and a half of experience in the game. So if the game had a timeline, it's going to be about a year. Um, and then our banks will begin to offer us good financing for vehicles. However, the initial bank loans may only be enough to purchase a used truck or a cheaper new truck. You should have enough saved up by the time to get your truck. And the amount of money, guys, that we should have saved up is $68,000. When I tell you hardcore mode, this is hardcore mode. Now, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys hang around for the ride. I'm going to have a blast doing this. We're going to hop here in the truck. This is our truck here that we're renting here. This is our W900L. We are asked to drive it. So pretend like we just got out of CDL school here. So what I'm going to do is turn the key. Roll the window down. We'll shut the key off. And then we're going to hop out the ride. Now, uh, we're going to obviously have a little bit of a scuff mark there until I can learn how to really edit all that fun stuff. But here we are. So first things, what I'm going to do is, before I even get out of the truck, I should have probably done this already, we're going to hop back in the truck. I'm actually going to leave the key on. I'm going to put on my headlights and my four ways. And I'm actually going to put on my high beams as well. And now I'm going to hop back out. Crawl off from underneath the truck because we went out the back secret door there. And now we're going to look at the truck around here. Now the way I do it is very simple. I'll unlock the hood latch over here. We'll go to the other side. Unhook the other hood latch there. And we'll check our oil. Now I'm going to check the oil on the truck. Make sure the oil is in operating temperature or operating range I should say. So it's good on the stick. Then what I'd like to do is walk around even to the other side, whatever side motor you have. Some dipsticks are on other sides. Go ahead, and what I do, I like to check my belt to make sure everything's there, make sure nothing's loose. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll wiggle the engine fan a little bit, make sure nothing's loose. Of course, we're going to come over here, too. Underneath, you'll see, it's hard to see in here because everything's dark, but there's the actual power steering. So the shaft there, the steering shaft, give that a little shimmy shake, make sure the pitman arm, everything's good to go. Headlights are on, four ways are on, roof lights are good, breather lights are on kick your tires so this is where i start personally so some people might say why don't you start on the driver i don't know i've always done it check my tires make sure i have more than 432 seconds of tread on the fronts that is what you need for the fronts the rears are 232 seconds just so you guys know of what is legally bald and whatnot a lot of guys will take their front tires move them to the back as time goes on look at make sure everything's good to go make sure my exhaust clamps especially down here they like to rattle make sure they're all good to go Make sure all the bolts and nuts are there. Make sure all my lights are working. Make sure my fuel cap is on and nice and tight and secured. Make sure everything's good to go there. Look at the back of the bunk here. Make sure nothing's hanging. 
kick my tires here, make sure they're good to go. Make sure there's no uh, rust coming around my uh, lug nuts there. Make sure all my suspension bolts there look pretty solid and good to go. What I can do here now is because they hooked the trailer up for me, I'm still going to do a tug test, but we're going to make sure, come on back here. Hard to see. We'll need a flashlight and uh, make sure the uh, pin is in there and locked in the jaws. Make sure the landing gear looks like it's pretty good here. Make sure the trailer lights are good. Make sure on this type of trailer that uh, no rips are in the body. Nothing was hit maybe by a bridge, you know what I mean? Or maybe hit a bridge. Make sure the lights are good here. We'll kick these tires too. Ba-boom, ba-boom, boom, boom. Again, make sure the wheels look good. They look a little dirty. But uh, walk around back here. Again, make sure the lights are good. Blinkers are working. License plate is nice and clean. Blinky blinks. ABS light is not on, which is a good sign, right? That'll light up if we have a problem with the brakes, by the way. Mud flap hangers are looking good. Bolts are looking good there. Kick the tires again. Make sure everything's good there. Duplicate it on this side. Four-way is good there. When I come around here, I'm going to make sure my landing gear is nice and secured here. Make sure that's all good to go. Again, we go back here. You're going to notice, too, the same thing with the fifth wheel. Make sure the pin, that is the pull within right there where you pull to unlock it. Make sure that's nice and secured inside. Uh, tires are looking good on this side. Then what I do is when I come to this side, this is, the, my, this is my fun side, right? This is where I'll make sure my airlines are nice and hooked up there. Everything is good and secure. There is nothing dragging on the deck plate here. That is against the law to have your lines on the deck plate like that. Then rub. DOT will bust your chops. Here, this little thing here that nobody ever talks about. That's where the insurance and registration cards are for trailers mostly. Uh, they are at different places on all trailers. I'll usually look for that, especially when I'm going to pull someone else's trailer, right? Make sure that's good to go and up to date. Ready to ride. Uh, throw my gloves maybe usually in there. Then I relock this side and check this tire. Uh, and then we're going to hop back up in the trunk. And then we'll go ahead, put the foot on the clutch. And we'll fire it on up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the truck into low gear. And I'm going to pull out my red brake, which is going to be my hand bar right there. So that is the Johnny bar. The trailer brake, the trailer valve, the trolley. There's a lot of different names for it. Make sure my steering wheel in real life here is all hooked up. We're going to hear a loud bang. There it is. Then what I'll do is I'll slowly give it a little pull there. See that? There it is. So that is all nice and secured. I'm going to release that and reset my parking brake there. And now I'm ready to go. So looking at my destination, I've only got two miles to go. We're only running this very short. It's 35 bucks for two miles. So I'm um, heading from this Elko Walmart Logistics Center. And I'm going to head down to the Dollar General over there. My mirrors are clean. Things are good to go. Uh, always do this big, big pet peeve of mine. I always make sure my mirrors are clean. Always, always, always. I'm going to adjust my seat, make sure I'm good here in the seat. Lower that down ever so gently. And we're going to release the brake. And we're going to begin slowly to pull it on out. And there we go. I'm going to probably keep the four ways on here as I leave the distribution center. In case there's any knuckleheads walking around. I don't want to hit anybody. Make sure they see the giant red truck as I pull on out. Now, to talk a little bit about what happened last night. So, on the live streams, we do live stream every night, guys. If you haven't checked that out already, check it out over on twitch.tv slash modded ATS. I was uh, doing a little bit of trailer trucking, and we were like, you know what? Let's go check out the owner-operator series because we were going to play it tonight. So, that's right, guys. Tonight, when you guys see this video... We are most likely live right now playing this profile to get some ground down on it. So make sure if you haven't, go ahead, check it out. Come on down. Love to have you come on in. Gonna back up there, make sure we're all good to go there because we can't really get out. And I went to go check out the owner-operator profile and it was missing. And I was like, wait a minute. Where is the owner-operator profile? I'm going to leave the four ways on here as I pull on out. Got a little bit of the shift cam there. Hello. And we're going to slowly get it up to road speed here. Now, another thing I'm doing too, guys, by the way, on this profile is I'm also doing the hardcore mode of Truckee. So if you guys do use Truckee, I'm sure if you guys haven't noticed already, there is a hardcore mode of that on how you get your loads done. There's certain settings and all that. I'm going to link the uh, link down below to the Truckee website that goes over all the information on that too in case any of you guys are curious. It is only for SES trailers. So if you guys are pulling any of the SES trailers, it's a cool way to find out how uh, 
how RP and how real life you are able to do so. So we're going to come up to the stop sign here. Now, I do have a few mods in here as well. Oh, let me go back real quick. Truck driver brain. I'm losing train of thought. So I went to go notice the profile was gone. So what happened was, long story short, I've been in the process of building my two PCs to work together. And I had to reset my PC three times. Three times I had to reset my PC. Well, unfortunately, for some reason, which really hurts, I was very upset last night. All my profiles are there. Even the original no GPS profile is okay. Yet the owner operator seems to have not made the transition. So it's kind of like a little blow to me. I'm kind of like, man, but you know what? With every down, every time you get knocked down, it's about how you stand back up. And I am not going to let that defeat me. We are going to bring the owner operator series back to action the way it is intended to be. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys are going to be liking the RP style of things. We're going to try to do it in a very realistic fashion here. Give you guys some real, real trucking. Now, speaking of real and realistic, uh, we are running a few mods. Again, the links will be down in the description below of what we are currently using. Give you guys a rundown. We are using the beta version of the GDC Logistics. So if you guys are not using the beta version and you're using the other one, you're not going to be exactly where this profile is at, but the other one is just as fine. This is just another advancement up, which is going to be a little bit more of a hardcore uh, style. Uh, also, we are also running the Real Companies and Logos mod from the Steam Workshop. That is going to be giving us the real names, such as the Walmart that you had just seen. I'm going to pull the uh, window up there. Whoop. There it goes. Also, what we're using is the Realistic Physics mod from Serial Black Modding. I have that in here with the settings properly set down to where they need to be. So, of course, the braking intensity is zero. Same with the stability. So, we need to literally drive this thing in the most proper way we can. Uh, really put this simulator to the test. That is going to be the ultimate test here of this profile. Is putting American Truck Simulator to the test of the simulation. Now we're going to stop here. I'm not going to run. Oh, Subaru almost had an idea. Thought about it, but did not. Not 100% sure if I can make a right on red here, but I'm not going to be too, too worried about it. Now, uh, another thing. We are also running the Sissel Route Advisor, guys. So that is this advisor right here that you see, the little one. We do have the little mirrors there. That's how you know you're rocking that one. Uh, we are also using the real, was it uh, not really real, but it's a realistic FOV for the mirrors from Plum Pete. Links will be down in the, in the description below. Give you guys a little bit more of a realistic feel of where your mirrors should be at and such like that. Great mod from the workshop as well. And we are beginning our journey here in Elko. I did choose Kenworth as my main truck of choice. So that's why our first load here, which you guys are witnessing right here, right now, is going to be here. My probabilities, my rain is at 20%, I believe. And then my, yes, rain is at 20. Is it our 15? It might be a 15 or 20. We'll double check. And then my detours and road hazards are at 30 to give it a little bit more of a, a feel there. We're going to slowly pull on in here. Now we are going to have the hard spot. So I am going to pull this thing forward because we do have a big truck. Now, in, even in real life, I'm not worried about what's going on. If I got to pull into a place like this, I'm not worried about it. I will block the road. I don't care. I have a job to do. Cars can hang on for five minutes. So I'm going to make sure not to go up that curb there. Now, of course, guys, as we are looking left and right here in the cab, as I usually do mention in the beginning of each video, we are using the Toby head tracker. That is how I'm able to look left and right. And I want to make sure I don't jackknife this thing too, too much. There we go. Now, what I can do is actually use this little spot here. Like so, to help the trailer come back around. I don't want to jackknife it too much. But I do need to get it over, so... 
and we'll pull on forward here now and get this thing nice and straight. I might have to ride that curb a little bit to uh, get it over, but we're going to find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this thing straight on up, and then I'm going to pull, actually jump out, and we're going to check out exactly where they want it. So I do have my setting as uh, random parking. So it will be random each time we come into uh, a location. And we're not blocking the entrance. Pull the brake. And I'm going to hop out real quick. As I come through the truck there. Can't wait till I learn how to edit. Wow, we came to the other side. All right. Uh, this guy's just hanging out. Hey, how you doing, bud? Good to see you. Oh, ball well as well. Uh, I'm going to walk on back here. And we should have one of the loading docks. Yes. Oh, no, we don't. We're going all the way here on the side. Okay, cool. So we actually have quite a bit of room. I thought that was going to be my trailer. Very, uh, this is also the icons mod we're using, guys. So we usually do have the big green floating objects here. We are using icons, which gives us the white lines. They're a little bit more of a cleaner look. So we're going to run back to the truck. I'm sprinting. <laughs> Hop back in the thing. Uh, what actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull forward. And I'm going to hug the building a little bit. I'm going to use the building as my uh, my guidance almost, right? So I'm going to slowly back it on up here. Now, some of you guys might be wondering to yourself, Okay, Mike, so you said you're going to live stream this too. Yes. Yes, I am. Now, what we'll do here is we're going to have, of course, the episodes come out every week of this. Every week we'll have episodes coming on out. But I do want to also be able to... Uh, Add to the profile as well. So have no fear. If anything major happens, you guys will be well aware of it. We do have a VOD channel too. However, I very well might just upload the, the live streams here straight to the channel for you guys to watch. But we can have the link for you guys for the VOD channel in case you do miss any of the lives there. But this is going to be a very popular uh, profile for me to play. Especially as we get close to the 100,000 miles on Limestone. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to bring it back around now. Make sure nothing's over there. We're over a little bit too much. So I'm going to move forward. Just like so. And jackknife it in just a little bit harder there. And then now I have complete control now of the truck. Now see the trailer's on an angle? I want that. Why? Because now I can straighten the truck out completely. And then get the exact spot that I want. Which I'm perfectly fine not putting this 100% straight in here because we are on the parking lot. But I am definitely going to try to get a little uh, better when it comes to uh, alley docking. So I'm going to jackknife this thing in here. It does give me the green there, but I am going to make it a little bit straighter there. We'll give it a little bit straight. There it is. Perfect. I'm good with this jackknife like that. I'm good with that. So we're going to pull the brake. And we're going to detach the trailer. Trailer gets detached, and here's our first official load done, guys. Two miles. It literally took us an hour and 27 minutes because I kept talking so much. And 44 XP. Awesome. Confirm. And let's go ahead and get ourselves another job. Let's see what kind of jobs we have here. Just to show you guys what the list looks like. So 218, Eli to Eli, 198. Pretty good solid load so far here. Not too shabby. $107. But again, too, we're going to try to get over that 500 miles, right? So every 500 miles, we're expected to get a level. So just keep you guys involved with that. But here we are again. Going to load up here in Elko and head over to Eli. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to go check out the load and see what we got. All right, guys. So here we are now in Eli here with this Mac. We're going to be checking this thing out here tonight on the live stream. So going to tease you guys right now with this thing. We're going to continue the journey tonight. Uh, we're going to have more videos, of course, come out here on the YouTube channel, uh, following through with everything. Let me know what you guys think about this idea of going full-on RP. 
Really want to know what your thoughts and feedback are. Let me know what you guys think about the harder, hardcore mode of it. Uh, I'm pumped. I really am. I mean, listen, last night it was a complete bummer. I was really upset, but listen, you knock me down, we're going to get back up. We're going we're gonna to go trucking. That's what I want to do. I want to go trucking. And this is what really gets me with the game, right? You can always just always find something really cool to try and do. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about it. If you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It does go a long way. We do want you guys to be a part of the Hammerhead community, the best damn community here in American Truck Simulator. If you guys also like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to do... Well, let me know how you guys are actually doing on your own Aurora Operator Pro Vlog, because I know you guys are doing uh, a lot better than we are right now, but... Guys, hope to see you guys tonight. Again, don't forget twitch.tv slash modded ATS. We will be continuing on trailer trucking. We're going to have episodes of this come out every single week. We're going to have them come out. I'm also going to have, just another disclaimer, every single mile that this profile does will be recorded. I will be showing you guys every single step of the way. So whether we do the video each week or the live streams, Y'all will be able to follow along and see the start, the middle, and the end. So, guys, with that, I do appreciate all you guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll catch you guys on the flip. And always, always, always keep the hammer down. Oh, my God. What was that? We need to change that horn immediately. Guys, catch you later.